Legislation was signed today to protect your kids at school. Good evening, I'm Patrice Dayton. And I'm Mark Allen. Indiana Governor Mitch Daniels signed House Bill 1462. That's a bill mandating tougher background checks for teachers and others who have contact with your kids at school. Representative Clyde Kersey from Terre Haute authored the bill. News 10's Jessica Hayes spoke with him today. Representative Kersey called it the most important piece of legislation he's ever authored. House Bill 1462 closes what he called loopholes regarding existing background checks for teachers. Prior to this legislation, the Hoosier State required only limited background checks for school employees. This meant it was possible for convicted felons from other states to slip into our schools. There were problems with that because we have teachers moving in from outside the state. They might have committed a uh, felony in another state. The new law requires a national criminal background check through the FBI once a teacher applies for a job in Indiana. The law also covers other school corporation employees, from bus drivers to janitors, a move local parents were happy to hear. If someone was teaching my kid that was involved in some kind of criminal activity, um, I would be outraged. The law also requires school corporations run employees' names through the National Sex Offender Registry. To ensure teachers and other school corporation employees maintain clean criminal records, House Bill 1462 mandates follow-up checks every five years. This bill will go into effect July 1st. Back to you. Well, another important part of House Bill 1462 is the issue of teacher immunity. Uh, News 10's Shandy Parr explains how this affects teachers and the way they discipline students. Many times, parents of disruptive students threaten to sue when teachers try to keep them from acting up or harming others. This new legislation creates a stronger legal defense for teachers if they're sued over school discipline problems. Prior to this, many teachers were hesitant to discipline disruptive students for fear of being sued. Now, House Bill 1462 gives teachers qualified immunity from lawsuits. They have this immunity only if their ways of disciplining students is reasonable and in good faith. Teachers are required to break up fights, uh, but if you break up the fight and you have to physically separate students, then you, you know, the likelihood of being sued is, is much greater. And so this eliminates that. Now, if a teacher is sued, Attorney General Greg Zeller says his office will take that case and defend the teacher. Back to you. Zoller says judges can dismiss such lawsuits at the beginning of the legal process rather than forcing teachers or schools to waste time and money defending themselves.